Hi guys and welcome to the magic show. Now of course the point being that I'm using ChatGPT here on my own fine-tuned machine learning model. So basically the chatbot is only answering questions about this website. Aista is a privately held company in Cyprus with offices in Cyprus, Greece, and the United States. Okay, it's not entirely correct. We are a company of software developers with a passion for creating software. We are open for business 24-7. We're a small company, but we're very passionate about what we do, and we are very good at it. We're not a large company, but we're a small company with a lot of passion. We're not a publicly traded. Well, it's a little bit uh, not entirely perfect answer, but like 90%. By the way, the model allows you to iteratively train it. And I'm going to show you that uh, later. And um, this chatbot was created with zero coding. What I did was that I pointed, uh, Hyper Lambda is a declarative meta programming language that allows you to create your own software by simply blah, 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 etc. Now, th the way I created this was that first I created a Cloudlet, you can do that at aista.com. And uh, then you can uh, sign up or log in and you can create a new Cloudlet at which point you come to something resembling this. Then you go to manage, you go to machine learning. You create your own model, uh, my website com, for instance, right? And then you just import training data, HTTPS colon slash slash my website.com. Right, and then the Cloudlet's gonna scrape that website for relevant information and create a new artificially intelligence-based machine learning model that only answers questions relevant to that particular website. And then of course, over time, it stores the requests, as you can see here, what can, um, how does Aista use machine learning okay so here you can see a question about that let's ask it that uh, uh, does aista magic cloud include ai and machine learning let's see what it answers by the way it's not 100 percent stable it's like you know it's beta uh, but rather a software that, where you can use AI and machine learning to create your own AI software applications, uh, include AI-based features. This is like 90% correct, uh, I'd say. Uh, what is Hyper ID? Okay, Hyper ID is one of the components in, in Magic. Uh, yet again, it's beta. We are stabilizing it. It will probably not be 100% stable before like... Uh, uh, a week from now or something. Hyper ID is Magic's integrated development environment, primary component of Aista Magic Cloud, fully fledged ID or integrated development environment that allows you to edit your code and manage your database. All in a single integrated day, it's also a cloud 95% correct. Uh, can I create uh, visually design my my SQL database using SQL Studio. See what it answers now. SQL Studio is another one of our components. Yes, you can. SQL Studio is a graphical user interface allowing you to visually design your database and create your SQL statements. SQL Studio allows you to execute and see the results of your statements. Perfect, 100% correct. Uh, what... Uh, uh, let's see what more to ask it. Backend, yeah. What is the backend generator? This is an example of a question where, where, I mean, all of these questions, if you go to ChatGPT at, you know, chat.openai.com and ask these questions, it's going to give you rubbish answers or answers about your competitor or answers about whatever, right? So if you ask the general, uh, okay, now it's overloaded. If you go here now to the log, you will see that it's uh, overloaded. It's not Magic's fault. It's um, 
Here we see 429. Uh, the server is currently overloaded. This isn't magic's fault. It's just OpenAI that's being hammered at the moment. So now the way I created this was that I, I went to machine learning. I imported my, my, my training data by linking it to a website. Then I started training here. I don't have any training data for this particular model. And then I went into configure and then I click copy JS. That's it. You include this JavaScript file on your website and you got this. And that's all you got to do. And then your customers or clients can chat with your website. So it doesn't necessarily have to be your website either. I mean, you can import other people's websites, for instance, I don't know, legal systems or, you know, medical websites, whatever. And then people can ask legal or medical questions from your website using your AI machine learning model. But the point is that, you know, uh, you can create your own chat GPT bot that answers the questions with the answers you want it to give. Now, initially, it's only going to have an accuracy rate of like, you know, 50% or something if you're lucky. But you can incrementally continue training it. If, if you look at this model here now, for instance, is that chat, this is the, the training material that I trained uh, yeah, Easter chat on. And as you can see, there are 735 snippets. Now, over time, inevitably, it's going to give a lot of like really, really bad answers. What you can do then, you go to requests and you, you edit those answers. Edit them and, and you provide the correct answer here. You click off train and you click save, which point this becomes a part of your next training batch. If we look here, I've already done this. You see here, I have like... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six new training sessions. So the next time I train it, these are going to become a part of the next incremental training. And over time, if you train it with like, you know, let's say you wait until you have a hundred snippets and then you retrain it and keep on incrementally improving upon it. I'm not sure about how many times you need to train it, but let's say if you train it some three, four, five times would be a guesstimate, then the chatbot's gonna give you 98% accuracy. And you can include it on your own website and it will answer questions according to your website the way you want it to answer questions. So anyways, that was it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, share the video with your friends, drop a comment, etc., etc. Have a nice day.